So uh, first let me open up this lesson with the right spiritual energy. I would like to say peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai and everybody tuning in uh, via Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, wherever you are uh, on this planet. Peace to you. Once again, peace means positive energy, always creates elevation. All right. So, um, a few of you been reaching out to me about the moon, so we we finna talk about the moon because, as you know, um, all is being revealed. All your powers, the powers are being given back to the gods and goddesses. You know, you have to understand uh, who they taught us were blacks and Latino people, or your African people, or your Jamaican people, or your, your people of color all over the world are 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 the descendants of the Anunnaki gods. All right. Um, if you've been keeping up with my live lectures and watching this YouTube channel, then you are already, you know, you're a little familiar with what's going on. But if, if not, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll catch you up. Just keep tuning in. But uh, I want to talk about this moon, all right, and its purpose on our planet and its and the purpose it has had on our planet. We used to stop there a lot. That, go to, that Smoothie King said. And its purpose on our planet. All right. So, uh the moon as we know we were taught that the moon um is a natural part of our atmosphere but it is not okay um the moon originally was never in the sky not in our sky okay there is no moon all right um certain planets however did have moons all right but um not us not this planet this planet that we are on now is called Planet Kai. That's the original name of it. I will not be calling it Earth because Earth is not the original name of this planet. The original name of this planet is Kai or Tiamat. All right. Or the brightest blue star in the cosmos or the planet that's shaped like a woman's head. All right. So on this channel, this is the University of Cosmic Intelligence. So I'm enlightening the gods and the goddesses. Um. And yeah, there's a lot of people from the NASA community that watches my channel trying to, you know, get information and understanding because they know who I am. All right. However, these beings are not allowed to tamper with me or hurt me in any form, way or fashion since I have reconnected with the ancestors and my, my DNA is almost 70 um, percent <clears throat> unlocked. All right. So I'm divinely protected when I sit here and give you guys these messages. As long as I continue to give you guys these messages, I will be divinely protected. Right, because I am doing what I was put here to do. So, my job is this: we always had ancient mystery schools and esoteric schools of information. So, this university is 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 one of many that will be constructed um, as we move forward in this new age and this new realm. But yes, the moon is not real. Okay, so you have to understand that when these these human beings and these and, our, and these um other extraterrestrial species, mostly your, your dr draconian reptilians from the Draco star system. Uh, when they landed and conquered our planet, they understood that we are the most powerful of the most powerful beings. All right. So they had to set up um, many different traps to ensnare our souls and to keep our spirits um, at the lowest vibration possible. All right. Or, or that sunken places they like to call it in uh, the movie Get Out. Okay. So understand, my people, that, 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 um, that we live in when we created this galaxy us the gods um we made this galaxy a binary star system i mean this a bi binary star system when, when we created the the multiverse all right which is composed of nine universes all right the each universe has a a a, a binary a binary um sun system all right so this means that every planet within this universe that we are in, where our planet is, that has two suns. The only planet that has three suns is our home planet of which is Sirius X or Xylanthia, um, which is back home in, on our home planet Sirius X, which is located in the 19th galaxy, which is the headquarter of the, the grand creators or the grand builders or us, the Anunnaki gods. All right. So understand we are multidimensional beings that always travel back and forth. Okay, to different realms, um, planets, galaxies. All right, 
Um, however, um, we had two sons on this planet. All right. So by us having two sons, it was ne- it, that means that it was never dark. All right. Nighttime cannot exist. If we had two sons, there was never any daytime. And it was what they call a winter solstice. It's one of the most powerful energetic um, entry points that we experience in our energy cycles. So they had to go out their way and create these fake winters. All right. These winters are filled with cold air that damages the metaphysical us and the technology of our bodies, of these avatars. Which stops us from tapping into our chakras, which would allow us to ascend into, you know, the highest version of ourselves. All right. So it was always daytime because we had two suns. The darkest it would get would be maybe uh, the sky would get purple. You know, think about an Arizona sunset or a sunset in the summertime, how the sky turns that purplish hue. Right. That's how dark it would get. And it was always warm. Our, our planet is warm. The galaxy is warm. Even when you travel out into space, it's warm. It, it's cold. It's not cold anywhere except for the planet of Nern, which is also located uh, in a far-off galaxy within this universe. All right? Um, Nern is where human beings were created at by our brother Zeus or Satan, Yakub, Marduk, Prometheus, Enki, Enlil, whatever you want to call them. Same person. Same entity. All right, on their planet, they do not have any suns, which is why it's a frozen planet. It's always cold. So cool air strengthens human beings. If you're just not tuning into my channel, you need to go back and read if you don't know the difference between the human beings and the gods. The human beings are your Caucasians, your Asians, your Dravidians, your Mexicans, and your Arabs. Um, and I'm not racist. I only state esoterical facts on this channel. Any information that I give to you was given directly from me by the Anunnaki gods. All right, I am complete contact with the ancestors. So. I allow them to use me. I'm just a medium. I am an ancestor. You are an ancestor if you are black or Latino. Okay? So understand the, how our planet and our realm was originally. All right? But as after they conquered us, conquered, conquered us and invaded our planet, planet, you have to remember these beings, they invaded our planet and, and never left. All right? But they will be leaving very soon. They're actually trying to leave now. All right? They actually been trying to leave since the, um, their year of 1945 in their human-made time, but they were weren't allowed to leave because of counter technology that that we enacted, magnetic strips and, and things that we put over this realm, which entrapped them within it. Okay, so there was never any light. I mean, there was never any um dark darkness on this planet. Okay, so. After they conquered us, you have, like I was telling you, we are not the our body. So you got to remember, after the soul leaves this body, it's going to go back to our home planet. Okay? So what they had to do, you have to remember, all right? This was hijacked. All right? Our planet was hijacked. So if somebody hijacks a planet, all right? The people that originally created this planet was stuck on the outside. All right. So every time somebody leaves this planet, you know, the ancestors, you know, we would like to talk to that soul to figure out what's going on down here to get even more intel. So to figure out how we could get inside of this dome and free the rest of us stuck here. All right. So what they did, human beings, along with with the reptilians and the Arcturians was the ones that created the moon technology. The Arcturians, masters of illusion. They were the ones, all right, they were the ones who um, who created the moon, all right? It was their idea, all right? So what the moon does to us, I forgot this now. What the moon does to us, um, to the gods and goddesses, all right, um, is it blinds the soul as the soul leaves this atmosphere of what is known as, of what they call earth. And they literally have um, scientists up on the moon, physical, infant and physical, up on the moon, all right, they're sitting in their lab coat studying this planet, all right, and their souls, when people die and their souls leave this atmosphere, you have scientists on the moon that's still literally there capturing their souls, because you have to remember, we already know who have souls, 
uh, human beings are soulless beings. They do not have a soul. They only have electricity. All right. So the only beings with soul are the gods and goddesses, the aboriginals of this planet and this universe. All right. So basically, as black people and Latino people die and leave these physical avatars, they take our physical avatars and chop up the organs and eat them and drain them of nutrients and things like that and use them to make their nuclear weapons. All right, out of the, out of the black goo in our spines, um, and the carbon in our skins. All right, this is what they do to us in these at these grave sites. Meanwhile, on a metaphysical side, as your spirit and soul is leaving this realm, they have other sciences up there that are they have this moonlight, and what the moon does is the moon acts like a flashlight and it blinds the soul. So as you're leaving this atmosphere, all you see is darkness. All right, and the moon. All right, as you're leaving, it's the only light you see while leaving this realm. It's like a giant flashlight in the sky that blinds you. And most people, most souls look into that light. Now, most souls should turn around. All right? Most souls should turn around. You know, at the moment of what they call death, most souls should 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 turn around. All right? Cuz if they did, they they could see that behind you is the entire galaxy. But most of us do not do that. We get blinded by this moonlight. All right. We get blinded by this moonlight and we 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 drift into the light. All right. Especially when a lot of us remember a lot of the religious dogma that had been taught to us about drifting into the light and, you know, go to the light, run from the darkness. Don't go to the darkness, go to the light. You know, this is what you taught. So your soul remembers these things as it leaves these realms. Your soul collects memories from dimension to dimension, lifetime to lifetime. All right. So this moon captures your soul. This moon is captures your soul as you walk in there. I mean, as you as you as you drift as you drift off, this moon captures your soul. All right. So, um. So after this moon captures your soul, it then takes it into these bleaching centers that they have. All right. And what these bleaching what these bleaching centers do on the moon is you have regular human beings physical in the physical right up there that's capturing all these souls and then they, ble they bleach the souls of its memories all right remember the soul is magnetism so they have a bunch of magnetic um molecular vibrations that, that they send our souls through on the on the moon and what it does is these magnetic vibration programs all right or these machines bleaches your soul of all its memories and then they they redirect your soul back to this realm to a new physical avatar all right and this is what they have been have been using the moon to do since they invaded and took over our planet. It's really a, a sonar weaponry used against us. All right. This is why if you go back and study the Zulu tribe, Shaka Zulu, if you go read up on the Zulu nation, they speak a lot about how, you know, back in their day, there was no there was no moon in the sky. And they speak about how one day the moon just literally appeared in the sky. All right. But this is why, okay? Um, majority of the things on our planet appeared in full formation. Why? Because, um, you know, we have always traveled, did galactic um, travel and, 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 and took species from this planet to that planet or, or vegetation and minerals from this planet to that planet, all right? So this is the true reason why um, the moon was created. And this is the reason why we will be destroying it, Okay. Uh, this is also why when there's a full moon, I'm, people are more violent. Um, the gods are people are more um, 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 vulnerable, more more emotional. Um, the tides of the ocean rises during a full a full moon. All right, and I'm making a separate video about the oceans and how they are really portals. All right, so with that being said, I just explained to the gods and goddesses what the moon is. All right, and its purpose. All right, um, the sun strengthens us, but the moon hurts us. Just like while the sun strengthens us. It hurts human beings. The moon actually strengthens human beings, but it hurts the gods. All right, so with that being said, I love y'all. Peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. All is being revealed. The 500-year invasion is over. The gods have awoken. We are awakening daily. The DNA is being repaired. Now we rise. And with that being said, I leave as I come. One.